Do you want more food, cover, and blooms in your pollinator and wildlife habitat? Of course you do. A great way to add all three is to plant one of the thicket forming dogwoods. There are several species and they are high value shrubs for all types of wildlife and pollinators. So let's not waste any time and dive right in with Red Osier Dogwood, Sweeta Sericea, which is aptly named for its showy red twigs. It is found mainly in the northern states and Canada, where it can be found growing in medium and wet, sandy loam soils in full sun to partial shade. This is a smaller shrub dogwood and will grow from 5 to 10 feet tall with a 5 to 10 foot spread and will root sucker quickly to form a thicket. Clusters of small white flowers will bloom from May to August depending on location and are followed in August through October by clusters of whitish colored berries. Red Osier Dogwood has an excellent fall and winter interest with reddish fall foliage, clusters of persistent white berries, and the striking red twigs after leaf drop. I mentioned in the opening that the thicket dogwoods are excellent for pollinators. That was kind of an understatement. They are host plants for around 98 species, including the spring azure butterfly and the polyphemus moth. They also support several pollen specialist bees in the genus Adrena, also known as mining bees. In addition, butterflies, bees of all types, and other pollinators visit the blooms. The thicket dogwoods are keystone species and pollinator powerhouses. If you love learning about native shrubs for pollinators and wildlife, act like an Adrena bee and dig into that like button. Our next thicket dogwood is the roughleaf dogwood, Sweeta drumidae, which is a larger shrub and can grow from 6 to 20 feet tall with a 6 to 16 foot spread. It is also one of the more adaptable thicket dogwoods and can be found growing in dry to wet soils and in full sun to partial shade. Its clusters of white blooms can be seen from April through July depending on location and the white berries with bright red stems ripen from August until October. It spreads by root suckers to form a dense thicket. Roughleaf dogwood has a wide distribution in the eastern United States. It has eye-catching foliage in the fall and the persistent white berries with their red stalks contrast well against the rusty hues of the leaves. Although roughleaf dogwood does have reddish twigs, they are not as showy as other thicket dogwoods. When it comes to value for wildlife, it is hard to beat the thicket dogwoods. They provide food and cover for a huge assortment of critters. The dense thickets are used for escape, loafing, and nesting cover for all manner of birds from small songbirds to larger game birds such as wild turkey, rough grouse, and northern bobwhite. Mammals from field mice to rabbits to white-tailed deer also seek refuge in the thickets. The berries are high in fat and are a preferred food source for songbirds, game birds, small mammals, and even black bears. They are an important food for migrating songbirds in the fall. The leaves and twigs are preferred browse for deer, elk, and in more northern areas, moose. If there are large herbivores around, Thicket dogwoods are going to get browsed, but they bounce back quickly from it with no adverse effects. The silky dogwood, Sweeta omomum, is found across much of the eastern U.S., has a dense thicket forming growth habit, and a smaller size growing from 6 to 12 feet tall with an equal spread. It grows in a wide range of moist to wet soils and can tolerate full sun to full shade. Clusters of small white flowers will bloom from April through June, depending on location, and are followed by dazzling blue berries in August through October. Silky Dogwood has excellent fall color in shades of dark yellow to reds, and the persistent blue berries look awesome against them. The twigs are an eye-catching red. If you live too far south for red osier dogwood, but you still want the great looking red twigs in winter, Silky Dogwood is an excellent choice for you. You may have noticed that the thicket dogwoods tend to grow in moist to wet soils, this makes them excellent choices for erosion control along creeks and drainage ditches. Now we come to the gray dogwood, Sweeta racemosa, which has clusters of small white flowers that appear from May through July, depending on location, that develop into clusters of white berries with red stalks from August to October. This wide-ranging shrub is found mainly in the northern half of the United States and into Canada, where it can be found growing in occasionally dry to occasionally wet moist soils in full sun to partial shade. It is a medium-sized shrub and will get from 10 to 15 feet tall with an equal spread. Gray dogwood suckers aggressively to form dense thickets. Fall color is generally rusty reds which the persistent white fruits contrast well with. Gray dogwood does not have showy twigs but the bright red berry stalks are quite eye-catching in the fall. If you're still with me and have watched the whole video to this point, you may be thinking that all these thicket dogwoods look very similar. Well, you are correct, they do. They even have some other closely related, non-thicket forming relatives that have the same type of fruits and flowers. It can get a little confusing if you are new to shrub identification. 
Let me know down in the comments if an in-depth video describing how to identify the thicket dogwoods and their close relatives in the field would be helpful. The pale dogwood, Sweeto oblica, is closely related to the silky dogwood and looks quite similar. Its white blooms can be seen from April through June, depending on location, and its blue fruits ripen from August to October. The range of pale dogwood has a lot of overlap with its cousin silky dogwood, but tends to be a bit more northern. It is a smaller shrub with a height of 6 to 12 feet with an equal spread and will root sucker quickly to form a thicket. Pale dogwood grows best in moist to wet soils with high organic matter and in full sun to part shade. Fall color is excellent and varies from dark reds to purples and the persistent blueberries contrast well with the foliage. The winter twigs are bright red and showy. The thicket dogwoods, while great for pollinators and wildlife, may not be the best choice for a smaller space. They can be kept in check, and I do know many people that have them in their yards, but it will take consistent removal of the root sprouts to contain them. If you like white flowers, showy fruits, and desire high ecological value, you may find the service berries a little more yard friendly, and they have great tasting berries too. You can learn more about them in this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.